Last year, I received not one, not two, but twelve emails from this individual. Yes, he sent them all in one day. Bear in mind that I have not responded to his emails at all. That day, I was still in Japan with my friends. So as my phone kept going ding from each email, my friend Will was already awake, so I read them together. Later that day, I showed them to my boyfriend, and he described him as a nice guy. I'm just going to show you the first email, and depending on the response I get from you guys, I may show the remaining eleven emails. So let's begin this shot. I've seen one of your videos, and I think you might be a bit uncertain. Why would you otherwise go to Tinder so much? Be so much on social media. Why accept a man that gives you bad sex, and your first time having sex was 18 with lube involved? I heard on one of your videos. Aren't you just terribly uncertain of yourself? Why do you talk in that high-pitched, unnatural voice all the time? But I think it could be alright. I want to try to help you. I would actually consider dating someone like you, no matter the past. I'm considered hot by most women. European, 25 years old, and I live in the Netherlands. My job, as far as that is concerned, is entrepreneur. If I send you some photos, and you would actually consider them hot, which I would consider likely, would you be interested in dating? Because isn't it just every time you're with someone that isn't really right, but you want to give yourself and others that picture? That may give you some temporary happiness, but I really, really doubt if it's going to make you happy. I don't have my smartphone at hand, but I'll send you some photos later anyway. Also, I'm attracted to Asian girls in general, I think. It's not a thing. It's that I think they look more intelligent more understanding of my own nature. It doesn't have to do with any hype kind of thing whatsoever. It's just what I feel. But I would try. But if it's really not genuine, then I would be disappointed, and some things it just should not be. I don't like you're one of those girls who's just so much about sex. It does not show mental strength, it does not show perseverance, love, or attitude. But I do like your style of writing and your constant disappointment somehow shining through, and I feel like that is similar. But, if you only date the wrong type of men, it will be unhealthy. It will only hurt you. I think you're attractive and intelligent enough to date, but I've seen hotter women in my opinion. Not European, but Asian. Don't do the stupid cat ears and stuff. Pikachu. It's a shame it has to be that way to make a living. I've included one picture. We'll include a second one in another email. However, be very much warned. I am 25 years old, entrepreneur. To save money, I live with my parents. Contrary to you, I never had sex with a girl yet. That does not, certainly not, mean that I would not want to. But somehow, your kind of behavior comes across as very impure and messed up. Where does that come from? Is it your financial situation? Wishing for something better? So be warned that I would never, ever consider dating one such as you. If that is your true nature, for the sole sake that I deserve a lot better. But if you've observed both pictures, then, if you want, you can chat with me, and maybe... I would go so far as to consider dating someone such as you. The problem is, I find you kind, particularly Cantonese girls from China, as I have also seen from Serpenza's movies on YouTube, very attractive I think. I think that is the type I should try to date. If you really are in London, then maybe it is possible, or it will at some point become realistic. However. On the other hand, if your behavior is like that because you're really that kind of person, and you really do feel no regret for it, you don't feel sad at times, then I simply cannot consider dating one such as you. You're weird. On the other hand, I think you're intelligent enough to have a funny conversation with. And on the other hand, I think it is totally wrong, and you might not be very suitable as a person. Please stop the beauty things. I think that only portrays that you are actually very unsure, and it is not a good thing to do, I think. If you want to do something with beauty, try modeling work, but don't try it that way. 
Like I said, I'll send another photo to compare. I'm a genuine person, so please don't try to mess me up in any way, because what I write that I mean. That also means that I don't mean anything wrong with all this. What it does mean is that I am actually looking for a soulmate, and it doesn't have to be my girlfriend, but a good friend would also be okay. So if you think you might be able to be that, then I would be happy to talk. And you can talk about all your problems to me, and maybe I would be able to feel some warmth and understanding from you. And maybe you're not like that, but your image arrives that way, okay? Please don't hate me for that. I don't want that type of woman. I also doubt if I even really want that kind of friend. But I think you're intelligent enough to be able to talk very nicely with. I think you share for a bit a certain kind of thinking. It's also a shame that your blunt type of thinking ends up in the ways that it does currently which seems like the wrong way to use that kind of thinking. But please, if you want to be friends, you're welcome. I've actually tried to date a few girls, but they were so incredibly stupid, and it never worked out. I mean, I never had girlfriends, because those women were all so stupid. It just couldn't match. So now, I think I might seek my luck in Asia someday, to find a more intelligent woman, who actually is intelligent enough to understand everything I mean. It's like I talk to a European woman, it is actually Chinese to them. You get what I mean with that? Anyway, it isn't meant badly. Being just friends is okay, but if you like it, would very much appreciate if you would also talk to me. Please compare the two photos. I don't know if your name's your real name, so you can give me the Nick Vici if you'd like. Please don't go on Tinder too much. You will hurt guys like me with that. And I doubt you will meet many high quality ones out there. But maybe that's just me thinking that. I live in the Netherlands. Kind regards. So that was the best email. Yes, that whole thing was just the beginning. If you're interested in hearing the next one, drop a comment below and let me know your thoughts. Ciao for now.